Okay, so welcome back to more Scam Reactions. We are on Season 2, Episode 4 today. Last episode was interesting. It ended off in a nice, wholesome way between William and Nora, which is rare because you don't really get that. At the end of an episode, they usually drop something on you that's like, that makes you think, what the fuck? Like, what the actual hell I was not expecting that. So it was nice to have an ending where it's like wholesome and just, you know, just a happy ending for once. But that won't last long. We know it won't last long because when Vilda finds out, it's going to create a whole new type of drama. It's only a matter of time before she finds out. I mean, maybe she won't even give a shit. I mean, there's a slight chance she won't, but I reckon she will because we, we've seen how much she likes William. They're going through this whole thing where Nora's trying to keep it away from her, trying to make sure no one knows, telling Ava not to tell anyone. She was worried when she thought that William told uh, Vilda. So obviously when she finds out, I think there's gonna it's going to cause some conflict between the two. But like I said last episode, what can you do? They like each other. He doesn't like Vilda, so... It's unfortunate, but what can you do about it? I'm curious to see what's going to happen with the whole fighting thing as well. William and his boys versus the Yakuza boys, or whatever the fuck they're called. Like, is there going to be more to that? Was that just nothing? I don't think it was nothing, because they wouldn't, like, introduce that for it to be nothing. That would be kind of pointless, but... Why are they after William? And just overall, what are they fighting about? But yeah, as always, before we start this video, I am a few episodes ahead on my Patreon. This is the full episode, and you get it early. Usually, I'm about two or three episodes ahead. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description below. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. Mate, that looks beautiful. Why does this look like the start of like a slasher horror film? And now it really does. What the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Scam about to go horror. But I should Just turn around and go home. Yeah. Why is this dude so creepy? I thought like he's gonna whip out a fucking machete and start hacking people up. <laughs> no, right, he was creepy. He was just standing there, like dead still, not moving or anything. That's creepy, come on. Not about where he's from or whatever. My dude standing there right now watching her. How was that not creepy? What the fuck, man? Bro. This episode's weird. No, I didn't really actually pull out a Ouija board. Do not... Is this an Easter episode or a fucking Halloween episode? I'm confused. I get really creepy vibes from this. Okay. I love it though. I love it. Everyone, everyone should know how much I love my horror. Har Jonas fortsatt følelser for mig? I knew she still. She has feelings for him. It's obvious. Når du skulle sette dem på festen til William, han var dritt sjalu, liksom. Okay, men nå. I mean, there was drunk, two drunk guys hitting on you. No, two sober guys hitting on you when you was like blackout drunk. Akkurat nå. I mean, if the. It's gonna spell out Nura. Wait, wait, she, only Ava knows this. So unless Ava's the one pushing it. Why well, I feel like this is gonna be my favourite episode of Scam, like ever. I think it's just because I'm an absolute horror nut, so like the vibe I'm getting from this is so creepy and like weird and just different that I really, really like it. And I don't know why, it's an Easter episode, it's not a fucking Halloween episode. Even the soundtrack is like kind of creepy. Make Scam Horror please, bring it back. I know it's ending now, but bring it back. And and do a, a horror series instead. Nona svart på Jorel, och det står Har Jonas fortsatt følelser for mig? Ni... Hva tenker William på akkurat nå? Bro, what? Ni it's that guy in it. It's that creepy motherfucker outside standing there. Maybe it's Santa. I saw you. I saw you in the back of you that did it. Why are you so scared to show your mobile? Then? Vilda just like... What is happening now? Maybe it was Kasper who answered us on the jordel in the night. Yes. I mean, why didn't that click in your head to begin with? It was someone who wrote everything we said. It was her. I bet you it was... It was her. She's a queen prankster. Vem Kasper? There finns ingen gutt som hjälper mig myta. Right, right. What is this episode? What the fuck is this episode? Honestly, it's so good. I love it. I don't know what the fuck 
is going on and why it's like super horror but I'm all for it like straight up I know there's gonna be some twist it'd be all a coincidence in the end but I'm liking the vibe of it at the minute no one needs to just tell Wilda because this is the damage in her as well yeah, I know, but if there's five of you and him with a fucking axe, then you just it evens the odds, didn't it? I know it's scam, don't worry, I know he's not going to have an axe, but I'm just saying. You're almost like a fucking mum. Like a mum telling a kid about all the... You need to eat your greens and all that. You just got to love her. Hvorfor kan du så mye om alt? I just got jump scared by scam. What the fuck is my life? What was that, man? I was not expecting that shit. Fucking hell. That genuinely startled me. <laughs> I don't feel like Santa's just putting a massive fucking prank on him. I just, it's just something she would do. You know what I mean? She's the one texting. Why is this such a like eerie episode? I'm so confused as to why this is a thing. I wonder what the the catch to all this prank is though. Like why she done it to begin with. It's definitely a prank. Obviously. Santa can fool them, but she ain't fooling me. What's the box it Anyway, it was so obvious. Awkward. I just want to start off by saying I don't think in terms of just like how eerie that was and how I just didn't expect it I don't think anything's ever going to top that for me it was so fucking strange but it was so good because it like I just expected just an average episode and then it was like creepy from the get-go and everyone who knows me or has known me for a long time on the channel on my on my other channel my f nothing ever in this world tops horror for me like i'm fucking obsessed with horror so like to have an episode like that and to not expect it in the slightest is just i don't think anything's gonna top that i think that is gonna be my favorite episode throughout scams entirety to be honest unless they have another one like that maybe i don't know that was that was such a fun little episode even though i knew it was a prank and i knew it was bullshit because scams not just gonna straight up change and go fucking supernatural or some shit but it, it just the, the feeling of it and like the eeriness and stuff. They can actually do horror. Like they can actually fucking do horror. That was good. That was impressive. I literally got startled and jump scared at that part. Like that fucking Jesus Christ made my heart amp up. That was really good. It was nice as well not to have any like William or like Jonas in the episode. Just the girls in the cabin like away from internet and stuff like that. Even though you had William texting every now and again. But that was my reaction to Scam Season 2 Episode 4. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always cheers for watching.